the security of state computer systems that have your data that you pay for. Yeah, but is keeping the public in the dark about what she found. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner is on your side, pushing for more details on problems that could be impacting your privacy. Computer systems across North Carolina hold a trove of information about you. Driver's license, retirement accounts, paychecks. It's all information hackers would love to know. And that's why State Auditor Beth Wood checks for weaknesses in the IT security of state agencies. When the auditor finds problems, she writes a report that looks like this. You'll notice it's blank. In essence, when the auditor finds a problem, she keeps it from the public. If I tell the public the details of any weaknesses or deficiencies in the security of any agency that we look at, and um, we look at several, then it is a roadmap for a hacker. But don't taxpayers have a right to know at a, at least a basic level what systems may have been open to compromise? What you're getting is um, the agency that we looked at and, and citizens would know if they have any you know, data or whatever. Recently, Wood's office has released two reports announcing computer security problems at the treasurer's office and state community college system. Last year, she found problems with the Department of Public Safety's IT security. But again, we don't have any details. If I make public this, where the weaknesses are, while I haven't specifically identified any data, if they understand where the um, weaknesses are, they can use those weaknesses to hack into our systems. Sure, surely the weaknesses are fixed by the time you release your report. You would hope so, Nick. You would hope so. Fundamentally, if you have a notice letter, it is meant to put people on notice about a potential problem. Simply saying there's some kind of a problem isn't going to be sufficient. Catherine Lawson is a professor at Duke Law School who previously practiced digital and cybersecurity law. There's nothing that says that acknowledging the existence of a problem is necessarily going to cause an actual breach later on. I think there's a big gap, right, between here's the detailed issue that we found and we found some problems but we're not going to tell you anything about what those problems are doesn't the public deserve to know something somewhere in that gap i think what they i think what they would want to know is that number one somebody's looking for it and found it number two that somebody's going to fix it not only is alerting the public to the security lapses of best practice, there's also nothing in the state's public records law that allows the auditor to withhold these records. So WBTV's lawyers are working to go to court to ask a judge to make some details about these IT security problems the auditor has found public. Back to you. We'll see where this heads. Uh, Nick, we know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you.